All right, let's get beyond uh, sex and uh, incest and whatever else and uh, go to Dixon in Fort Worth. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. So you, I, I, we thought we lost you there for a minute, but you wanted to call in to talk about the existence of God? Yes. Um, Which I God? The God of the Jews and the Christians. The God of the Jews and the Christians. If you ask, if you, if you ask a Jew... If you told a Jew that there was a God of Jews and Christians, I think the Jews would probably object. They probably would. Yeah, so and we're, we've already got a little bit of problem here with a muddy definition, but go ahead. Um, I wanted to share an argument of that there is a God. Mm -hmm. Is that you see in this world, it's specially created. The climates are made for the animals that I, live there, for humans. I, I don't see that. Well, do you see penguins living in Texas? I'm sorry? Penguins. Do you see penguins living in Texas? No. It's because they were designed well, to be At, at the zoo. Oh, you're, so your explanation for why there aren't penguins in Texas is because they were designed to live elsewhere. Yes, they have to live in a cold climate, even sure. in the zoo. How, why, why, how did you exclude the possibility that penguins evolved to fit in colder climates, and they didn't evolve to fit in warmer climates. I don't believe in evolution. Okay, so why don't you believe in evolution? Well, do you see any apes now turning into humans? Uh, that has nothing to do with evolution. No, it does. A lot of evolution... I, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Evolutionary, the evolutionary model shows that we have a common ancestor with apes. You, so, you have a cousin, right? Yeah. Okay. You have a common ancestor with your cousin, and that would be your grandparent, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, if I explain to you that you and your cousin have a common ancestor, wouldn't it be ridiculous for you to say, I didn't come from my cousin, right? Yeah, that is correct. So it's ridiculous to talk about us coming from apes when what evolution is saying is that we have a common ancestor somewhere far, far back, uh, which is the case. Now, I'm taking it as you believe the Bible. You would say that we all have a common ancestor in Adam and Eve, correct? Yes, which were human. Yeah, okay. Um, why would you stop there? Assuming, let's assume that there was an Adam and Eve. There actually wasn't, uh, we, we understand. But let's assume there was. Why would you stop there to say that that's all that's related? Because they were human and they procreated to create more humans. Okay. Um, which then led to our civilization. So who were their parents? God created them. How do you know this? Brought, How do you know this? It said, God created man from the dust of, dust of the earth and breathed. Yeah, I know what the Bible says. I'm asking you, how, why do you believe that that's the truth? First of all, because the Bible says it. Okay. So, so, so far, whenever I've asked you for a why, your reason for asserting that there's a God is because you don't believe in evolution. And we've already demonstrated that you don't even understand evolution. Right. So the fact that you don't believe in it uh, is not only irrelevant, but super irrelevant because you're wrong about it. And then when asked why you believe the God thing, then you go right to the, to the fact that the Bible says so. Why do you believe the Bible? Because someone had to create it. Like Someone had some to create what? That, some of the stuff that said it's only able to be God-breathed, that God so, so, told someone so to So you're it. saying there are things in the Bible that could only come from a God? Yes. Like what? Like the creation of the earth. Who would know that? Uh, oh, you're assuming that the person who wrote it knows this to be true. We're trying to establish whether or not it's true. And you're, what you're saying is that you, you, your justification for knowing that it's true is that nobody could have thought of this. You do realize that people have thought of creation myths forever, that other religions have their own creation myths, and that they could just as easily say that somebody had to think that up. Here's another fact. No, let's not do another. <laughs> let's not do another. Um, I, I'm, I'm still on this one. Uh, you believe, the, you believe that, the, that the universe was created, and you don't accept evolution, and your primary reason for this is because you believe the Bible's true. And you believe the Bible's true because you say there are things in it that could not have come from human beings. And I, I'd, I'd still like to know, what, do you, what is in the Bible that you don't think a human being could have come up with? Well, that was the point I wanted to make. Is there's a prophecy in Daniel that says a king will rise up and have his court underneath his thumb, and the people will have no say in all the unjust things he does. Okay, so let's, let's assume for a second that this passage in Daniel that you're referencing uh, actually came true. 
as Okay, I'm, I was already willing to assume that. You don't need to you know, take a step further and assert it. Uh, how do you know that the only way that, the only explanation for why this prophecy supposedly came true is because this prophecy came from God? How did you rule out every other possibility? Because this prophecy has come true in the 21st century. Okay. You ever watch Doctor Who? I do. How did you rule out time travel? Because have we found a way of doing it? Ah, so you're, you're ruling out time travel because we don't know of any way to, to engage in time travel, right? Plus there's another reason time travel is not possible. Okay. Uh, have I'm, you seen uh, any weird changes like World War II? If time travel was possible, wouldn't someone go back and hey, try to prevent World hey, War II? Dixon, how do you know that somebody didn't go back in time and actually start World War II? You're only going to have the memory of what you experienced in your life. If somebody goes back and changes something, wouldn't that change your memories? It would. But Hitler was the one that started attacking Poland, not some random time traveler. Okay, thanks, Dixon. I appreciate your call. We'll see you later. <laughs> Sex, Muslim, religion, ex-Muslim, atheist. Yeah, well, we'll uh, I'll just let that one sit there and, and marinate for a while. <laughs>